Hello my dear students, welcome to the MS Science Academy. Myself Meenu Shivasta and today we are going to discuss about the glycogenolysis. The glycogenolysis means the glycogen converts, the conversion of glycogen into the glucose. As in the previous lecture, I have discussed about the glycogenesis means the formation of glycolysis, formation of glycogen. But in this lecture, we are discussing about the degradation of glycogen or we can say the uh, metabolism of glycogen means the conversion of glycogen into the glucose. So, the definition of glycogenolysis means the conversion of glucose, sorry, conversion of glycogen into the glucose. And the organ where the glycogenolysis takes place, this is the liver and the muscle and the site means where it place it takes place either in the cytoplasm or the mitochondria the main site is that cytoplasm okay so here the glycogen is form uh, the glycogenolysis takes place in the liver and muscle as well as but in the liver the end product of the glycogenolysis is the glucose whereas in the muscle the end product is the glucose 6 phosphate okay so here the end product in the liver and product in liver is glycogen to glycogen to glucose but in the muscle but in muscle the end product is that glycogen to glucose 6 phosphate glucose 6 phosphate why is it so because the glucose 6 phosphate is which help to convert the glucose 6 phosphate into the glucose this enzyme particularly absent in the muscle okay so here in the muscle glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme absent absent this is the main point okay you have to be very much uh, you have to keep in your mind that the glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme is absent in the muscle that is why the end product of the glycogenolysis is that glucose 6 phosphate okay so uh, previously i have discussed about the glycogen the glycogen is the linear as well as the branching molecule in the linear side the alpha 1 4 glycosidic linkage is present where in the linear where in the branching side the alpha 1 6 linkage is present okay so uh, so now we will discuss about the steps of the glycogenolysis in the step, step 1 the phosphorylysis takes place okay now the step 1 that is the phospho Rhylysis. Phosphorylysis, phosphorylysis. In the phosphorylysis, what happened? The glucose molecules which is present in the uh, branching side, uh, not only the branching side, the alpha-1,4 glycosidic linkage cleaved by glycogen phosphorylase. Okay, again I am repeating that in the phosphorylysis step, the alpha-1,4 glycosidic linkage which is present on the linear side is cleaved by glycogen phosphorylase okay so here in the phosphorylase glycogen phosphorylase phosphorylase cleaved alpha 1 4 glycosidic linkage and remove glucose as glucose 6 glucose 1 phosphate okay glucose 1 phosphate okay so here the glycogen phosphorylase continuously removing the glucose as the glucose 1 phosphate until the limit dextrin will not form okay as the limit dextrin form the glycogen phosphorylase action stop what is the limit dextrin? I will show you what is the limit dextrin. Okay, now first this step I will show you in the key diagram. So many are just unlimited glucose and number of the glucose are uh, attached as we have discussed n number. Different n numbers are glucose units are present. Okay, so yeah, the glycogenin, glycogenin in the previous lecture where we were have discussed about the glycogenesis, I have discussed about the glycogenin. So if you want to see the glycogen, what is the glycogenin, you can go for that glycogenesis. MS Science Academy, you can type in the YouTube and you can get my lecture. Okay, now 
द ग्लाइकोजन एंड ग्लाइकोजन फॉस्फोर आइलेस एक्ट ऑन द एल्फा वन फोर ग्लाइकोसाइडिक लिंकेज एल्फा वन फोर ग्लाइकोसाइडिक लिंकेज एल्फा वन फोर ग्लाइकोसाइडिक लिंकेज ओके ऑन द ब्रांचिंग साइड दैट इज द एल्फा वन सिक्स बट ऑन द लीनियर साइड द लिंकेज इज एल्फा वन फोर लिंकेज ओके सो ग्लाइकोजन फॉस्फोर आइलेस कंटिन्यूसली रिमूव द ग्लूकोज अप टू द लिमिट डेक्सटिन इज फॉर्म दिस पॉइंट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड okay so what is the limit dextrin the limit dextrin is that molecule where where the 4 4 glucose unit 4 4 glucose molecule present on the either side okay so you can see that this side on the branching side 4 1 2 3 4 this is side 1 2 3 4 this is the 1 2 Three, four. This is the branching side. Okay, so we will not count this. Okay, so here the glad. This is the limit dextrin. Limit dextrin is molecule where the glucose is present on the either side. Either side means either left side, right side, branching side. Where you will count the glucose unit is the four glucose unit remain. Okay, so this the glu glycogen phosphorylase will act on glycogen phospho. Rylase act on this, okay, and the glucose unit remove as the glucose one phosphate, okay, glucose one phosphate, and as the limit dextrin form, glycogen phosphorylase action stop, okay, as limit dextrin formed, glycogen phosphorylase action stop, phospho. Rylase action stop. Okay. Now, what will happen about the glucose one phosphate? Glucose one phosphate. The glucose one phosphate is convert into the glucose six phosphate. Glucose six phosphate, and this glucose six phosphate is again convert into the glucose. Glucose one phosphate is convert into the glucose six phosphate with the help of phosphoglucomutase. Phospho glucose mutase, and the glucose six phosphate is convert into the glucose with the help of glucose six phosphatase. Glucose six phosphatase. Okay, so here just now uh, I have told you that the in the muscle the end product is the glucose six phosphate because. in the muscle the glucose 6 phosphate is absent that's why the glucose 6 phosphate will not able to convert into the glucose so the glucose 6 phosphate uh, when the glucose 6 phosphate is formed in the muscle it will go into the liver cell and uh, and the glycogenolysis process will complete in the liver cell because in the liver cell the glucose 6 phosphate is enzyme is present now the after the phosphorylases after the phosphorylases again the debranching will proceed the second step is the debranching what will happen in the debranching the debranching happening uh, the debranching is performed by the debranching enzyme okay debranching enzyme and this is the bifunctional enzyme this is bifunctional enzyme bifunctional means this enzyme work on this enzyme this is a bifunctional enzyme and this enzyme will and uh, perform two type of the function what function first per function is performed in the first step the sub type of the debranching enzyme is the transferase okay the first type of the debranching is a, uh, uh, not type you can say it's a uh, uh, one uh, the debranching enzyme part one debranching part one enzyme that is the transferase will help this trisaccharide into the linear side don't think that this trisaccharide will jump to the glycogen side it will not jump here because it's a dead end okay so here this trisaccharide unit will join with this side okay this will perform by the transferase okay this help to transfer this help to transfer uh trisaccharide on linear side okay now what will happen this 
वन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट वन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट दिस ग्लूकोज इज रिमेनिंग वन टू थ्री फोर एंड दिस इज द ग्लाइकोजन इन ओके नाउ वट विल हैपन दिस ट्रांसफर इज विल जस्ट रिमूव दिस ट्राई सेक्राइट फ्रॉम दिस साइड एंड दिस वन ग्लूकोज यूनिट अटैच ऑन दैट साइड सो फॉर दैट रिमूविंग एल्फा वंस इज ग्लाइकोसाइडेज एंजाइम विल कम इन टू द एक्शन एंड जस्ट रिमूव दिस ग्लूकोज एज द रिमूव दिस ग्लूकोज एज द फ्री ग्लूकोज ओके सो एल्फा सो सेकेंड बी इट्स अ बी डी ब्रांचिंग एंजाइम पार्ट बी पार्ट टू दिस इज द एल्फा वन सिक्स ग्लाइकोसाइडेज रिमूव दिस ब्रांच आई विल स्टेटेड एज द ब्रांच दिस ब्रांच ओनली वन ग्लूकोज एज ए एज ग्लूफ्री ग्लूकोज ओके सो हियर the alpha 16 glycoside is just remove this and this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and this is the glycogen okay and now the enzyme is alpha 16 glycoside is alpha 16 glyco side is okay here the main thing is that uh, uh, which uh, i have forgot that for that uh, action for the glycogen phosphorylase one is a coenzyme that is the plp pyridoxal phosphate is used okay so glycogen phosphorylase for the glycosine phosphorylase coenzyme required coenzyme is the plp pyridoxal for uh, pyridoxal phosphate okay pyridoxal phosphate this is the coenzyme which are utilized for this okay now this after removing this lonely or only the uh, glucose unit when the alpha 16 glycoside is glycoside is enzyme remove this only linear chain is formed only linear chain is remaining so as the linear complete linear act, linear chain is formed then the glycogen phosphorylase again came into the action okay so now in the third step what will happen the glycogen phosphorylase remove the gly uh, glucose one by one as a glucose one phosphate okay so here this glycogen phosphorylase glycogen phosphorylase remove glucose one by one one by one as glucose one phosphate now what will happen about the glucose one phosphate this glucose one phosphate is converted into the glucose six phosphate and this glucose six phosphate is converted into the glucose okay which enzyme is used glucose one phosphate conversion into glucose six phosphate for the phosphoglucomutase phosphoglucomutase and glucose 6 phosphate to glucose that is the glucose 6 phosphate is okay so this is for all for the glycogenolysis again we are just summarizing what is the glycogenolysis the glycogenolysis is the conversion of glycogen into the glucose in the muscle the end product is the glucose 6 phosphate whereas in the liver the end product is the glucose why is it so in the glu uh, muscle because the glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme is absent here the phosphorylases first step is the phosphorylases where the glycogen phosphorylases uh, phosphorylase phosphorylase cleaved alpha 14 glycosidated linkage and remove glucose as the glucose 1 phosphate okay this uh, uh, up to this glycogen phosphorylase work on the glycogen up to the limit dextrin is formed okay now 
the glucose 1 phosphate is converted into the glucose 6 phosphate in the presence of mutase and this glucose 6 phosphate convert into the glucose as the glucose 6 phosphate presence of the glucose 6 phosphate is what is the limit dextrin the limit dextrin where a molecule where the 4 4 glucose uh, 4 4 glucose units 4 4 glucose molecules are present on the either side either on the left side right this right side and the branching side now in the second step the debranching enzyme the debranching enzyme one okay you can say one or first debranching enzyme as a act as a transfer means the transfer is enzyme will act will remove this trisaccharide unit unit on the this glycogen uh, this limit dextrin site and just only one glucose molecule remain attached on the alpha 1 6 glycosidic linkage now the glycogenic and this the alpha 1 6 glycosidase this alpha 1 6 glycosidase remove this glucose okay now complete linear molecule is formed again when the glucose and uh, when the complete linear uh, chain is formed the glycogen phosphorylase enzyme will come on the action and just remove the glucose one by one as a glucose one phosphate now the glucose one phosphate as as we have discussed the glucose one phosphate is converted into the glucose six phosphate with the help of phosphoglucomutase and the glucose six phosphate is converted into the glucose with the help of glucose six phosphatase this is the overall of the glycogenolysis i hope you have enjoyed my lecture any doubt kindly i ask in the comment section otherwise please like share and subscribe thank you